Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing by uh, Sony Games for the Time. My name is Joachim and today we'll be unboxing the ultimate edition of... No, no, we're not doing this. No, this is, of course, obviously I have this game, but I really love Mage Knight, but I wanted to upgrade it. So we're not un unboxing this because it's been done ages ago. No, we are unboxing this. This is something that I ordered uh, from Etsy actually a long time ago, but I haven't opened it yet because I was moving board games around and everything. But now finally the time has come to open it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Yep. So from Etsy, the, the details of the shop and everything I will put in the description. Because right now I'm forgetting or put it on the screen right now so you can see where you can get it. And dun 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 dun. Now, first of all, my first reaction when I saw this was like, oh crap, because this is going to cause some, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not very clean. I, it's, it's, it's a good way to keep everything safe, for sure. But, you know, there's also a danger of getting this everywhere. So luckily I have the box here from Hidden Leaders that I just received, so I can th throw it all in there on the side. So let's start at the top here, see what's in there. Pull it away. And make sure that I don't get rid of some stuff accidentally. There we go. So the first two things that come out already are this. So of course these go on the tiles of uh, Mage Knight. Okay, I think this is a, a mine, if I'm not mistaken. And this is one of the temples, which of course I'm all going to have to paint. But these are quite small and uh, not always have a lot of details. So I think that should be fairly quick. So here we have another mine. So let's put the mines here. And another mine as well. Because if you've played Mage Knight before, you know you can have multiple mines. You can see some of the the wood chips i guess this maybe it's not wood chip i don't know what it is kind of stuck on here so i'm gonna to have to definitely clean this with a toothbrush before i start using it there's some other stuff here i will get to that uh, soon first i'm going to try to liberate more pieces there are also some heroes that are quite different there we go this one So I will show you who this actually is. So I think you can see it here. This is the normal guy that comes with the uh, Ultimate Edition. And this is the uh, variation, as you can see. So he doesn't have the, the life or the uh, life or enemies at the bottom or whatever, but he's taller. So if I could, if I wanted to, I could use him instead of the other one. All right, so I'll put him here. And then we have another uh, well, it's a different kind of temple, as you can see, you know, uh, from what I thought is it broken off, but no, it's just a different style, which actually I appreciate, it doesn't all have to be the same. This is the starting, uh, starting portal, okay, which is really nice, okay, put it here. Okay, something else. This is the mercenary camp. Uh, I think it's that's what it's called. It's been a while since I played Mage Knight, to be honest. But yeah, you can see the tents and everything. Uh, this one here is a, a village a town. Yeah. All right. And then, dun 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 dun, another. One of these uh, dungeons. And another camp. And this one's really stuck. Okay. And another village. All right. And another village. So multiple villages. 
which of course you need as well. And we have these two packs, which I'll explain in a minute what they are. And another village. <laughs> Trying to get the thing out. Of course it doesn't help that I just cut, cut my nails. Okay, cool. So this part is done, so that means that whatever I take out next, I can just dump in there. Okay, so what is this? This is basically a pack of unstable mana. So basically you put this mana on your cards uh, because this is temporary. This is temporary, temporary mana, it'll go away after that. So when you have you only get mana that you can only use for that turn. I'm gonna get one of these. They look really nice. I'm sure they look nice on the card as well. So these are the mana replacements. So you can see they are very, very sparkly. They also have a base that so they can just stand up if necessary. Well, which would happen. And this is the difference of what was in the game. So I think you can agree. I'll just take a color of each and show you the difference. Okay, so here you see the differences uh, between the new version and the old version. And I do prefer the new version quite a bit. It's a lot more, has a lot more sparkles. It's, it, it, it's just more vibrant, right? So that's why I wanted to upgrade that part of the game for sure. Get all these out. I'm gonna make sure these don't get mixed up. All right, so let's see what else is in store here. This is a mine. So, for example, here, right, um, we have the village would be on here. All right. So it obviously will already make it look nicer when it's painted, of course. This would then have this mine on it, and then I can paint these mines in a certain color. So if it's a green mine, this will be green like that, which of course will look nicer. These we I think we haven't seen yet. So we'll see. And then anything else I can show the caps. They go here. There we go. And then this hasn't come out either, and this hasn't come out either yet. So, and this one, for example, would be this. There we go. And then here, and this one would be this. All right, so we have covered everything that's here already, aside from the starting tile. Which of course is here, so this would be in the middle. Boom. Alright, so you can see that would look a lot better than just stand there. Alright, let's continue, see what we find. So more mines, of course, like I said, with their specific uh, parts. More of these temples as well. As you can see I'll have my painting cut out for me. More mines. So I did something similar for Western Legends with all the buildings and so on. You can check out that video, more mines, if you want. And uh, basically what you do is you just paint a bunch of them in one evening, you know, like you're in a factory, in a conveyor belt. You do like uh, all the wood on, on each of them, and then you do all the crystals on each of them, and then you keep going. So more mines, 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 mines. I got mines for days. Go up. Oh well, here they're all nice in a row. Look at this. So I uh, take out the first one. So more villages. Yeah. All villages. But you can see there's a new one coming, and it's this one. And these ones are, which I think look really awesome, these are the, um, what is it again, 
it's like the the magical glades i think so this thing this goes on top of here so that's going to look really nice on top of it okay and there is also a bunch of them there's four more of them you can see it here boom 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 all right the next one that we have is this so it doesn't look like much but what this actually shows us is is this you can see the holes here they're basically caves that you go into kind of so you put this here and then to complete everything you would then put this one here and this one is still on its way all right so we have more of these oh, 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 oh. hopefully i'm not destroying it this actually looks like a face it's kind of funny <laughs> and this also looks like a face okay and then more of these magical glades as well yeah aha uh -huh. here we have the altars okay so uh let me see if i can quickly snatch one up here shouldn't take too long to find one here we go these are the ones yeah there you go all right so at the same time there would be a mine here and of course the city from the game now it's not uh, the red city is here so the red city would be in here so that would obviously look a lot better than just having the tile okay I really have to stop accidentally pushing them off. So there's a bunch more of these. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay. I'm running out of space here and I haven't even done this part. So I'm going to move this back a little bit so I have more space. And then, very cool, very, very cool. This is, you can even see the numbers two, four, six inside that's basically uh, a labyrinth that you go in and you choose which part you do see two four six goes on top of here so if you want to spend two movement points you go there four and six and of course the uh, rewards are different for which one you choose and this is a oh it's the same thing is it it's just variations of it i thought this was going to be like a keep but it's more like a variation, but also has two, four, six. Ah, so it has different variations, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Different styles. Ah, but it's from the expansion. I'm pretty sure it's expansion stuff. And uh, you also have two, four, six, but they are a different type. You can see it. Well, not really expansion, but I'll show you the two different ones. Okay. So you have this and this. So you can see this is more like a ruin, and this is actually still like a little bit of a you see a difference here, like this. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so what's in here? More altars. And this is what I think is really cool. The castles. So the castles here, up, put the castle here. It's cool, right? Yeah. So in this case, with the castle there, this one here, village there. Ah, and these ones are the mines with multiple colors. So here we go. So that would be an example of a tile. Yeah. So you can be you can be one hundred percent certain that once I paint these once i finish painting these there will be a video showing it off basically these are all still just castles or well, keeps sorry they're all the same i could potentially give them all a different shade of color but i'm not gonna do that i think um ah and here which is also what i like these are walls so sometimes in the game, for example here, you have walls. 
and then sometimes we forget that when we're playing that there's a wall but it's very difficult to forget if the wall is physically there and I'm sure there's also single pieces of the wall but that would look like this then um, and also to finish off the other stuff we already have uh, no, it's the tents there we go so every mage knight game will look so much better than before and i'm hoping it'll all fit into the uh box i just opened the box the the ultimate edition box and uh i'll just quickly pan over it was on the side and you can see what it looks like now it's a right mess you can also see that i ate chips anyway so i have to fix everything later on oh yeah so Let's continue unearthing this, making sure that I don't miss any walls or other pieces. So yeah, here are the single walls. There you go, single walls. I had this on my wish list on Etsy for so long, and in the end, I decided to treat myself. I think I got it around New Year as my own, as my personal Christmas presents. Yes, I buy Christmas presents for myself. We really have to watch out that I don't miss any pieces. Well, I think this one's trying to escape. Uh, because you you yourself always know what you want more, what you want best, right? So, more walls. And we're getting to some other cool stuff. You can already see it. Start here. This is the cathedral. Okay. And the monastery, the monastery, sorry, the monastery. And guess what you can do with the monastery? Yep, you can burn it. That's one of the cools. I mean, <laughs> I don't mean that I love burning monasteries, but I like that I like that it's an option in the game. Um, of course, it gives you hugely, it gives you big uh, pop popularity or reputation, but uh, it has huge reputation implications, you know. So this would be another example of what it could look like. So it's really bad for your reputation if you do it, obviously, but it's a very short way to get an artifact. But then you might end up with a shitty one. Or you can just get good units there. Okay, so there's more of these. Yeah. More cathedrals. So nothing against religion, by the way. I just think it's funny that you can do that. Because it's pretty cool. Maybe that means my humor is cool. I don't know. Anyway. So, da, da, da. I like the details, like the crosses are on there as well. Right. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, for your information, most of the time, oh, yeah, the majority of my games, I don't really burn them. So, yeah. These are going to be difficult to paint, though, I think. I'm not a master painter. So, I think most of these pieces will look good from afar. But up close could be a different story. Okay, so see that I don't miss anything here. This is awesome. This is the Mage Tower. Yeah, the Mage Tower looks really, really, really good. So that goes on top of here. So if we get everything on this tile, we have the Mage Tower. We have this big one over here. We have the camp. We have the walls now maybe you're thinking is there going to be enough room for the units but apparently uh, all the places have been kind of like balanced so that the units can actually stand on them fairly well or this is a really big one though so he might be a problem although look he can stand on there that's okay can stand on here and you can stand on there so they can stand on top not really much of a problem so that's what it would look like okay pretty cool okay this here try to keep it all roughly in the same area uh, i think that's actually the the probably that might be it when it comes down to original buildings i could be wrong but so more of these wizard towers. Uh, 
Hop, 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 hop. There we go. Boom, boom. And there might still be something underneath. There you go. More of these. Ah, oh, yes, of course, there is more stuff. And the mountains. I guess put this here for now. So, if we go back to what we just had, there will be a mountain and the mage tower and the big one and the camp <coughs> the tower the, the tower the wall sorry the wall another wall and then the final wall so this is suddenly what a tile of mage knight looks like which is pretty freaking cool all right so the I don't think it's too. I, I, I like the details because it's not just it's not just a mountain. You can also see the little trees here, okay, and a little mine at the bottom. <laughs> and once again, the top here can support a unit, okay. There you go. So the units can stand on top of everything. So it's never a problem, even with these other ones here, the temples. Supposedly, they could stand on top of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty nice, if you ask me. Uh, there's also some double pieces. Like, here you go. And you can once again see the little trees in there, right? So, yeah, those are the mountains. And those are all the upgrades that I actually have for... Uh, Mage Knight. You can actually buy even more stuff, like um, if you don't like the miniatures of the original game, he has um, different miniatures. You can even uh, request it that they come painted already, but of course that all drives up the pr price like crazy. Um, yeah, so all of this is what I'm going to be painting at one point, not tonight. Uh, so yeah, if this looks cool to you, do check it out, and uh, yeah, check out the store. I think that's enough for now for here, so uh, <laughs> my name is Joachim, and uh, this is so many games for the time, I'll see you next time, bye bye.